I'll start by saying I don't love this picture drawn. If we have that our vertical and horizontal distance are positive with 12 and 5 here, we really should orient it to be in the first quadrant. So I apologize for that picture. Let's use this one over here. We know this is a special right and the hypotenuse is 13. I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. So if I want to find the sine of 2 times whatever theta is, we can apply the property. We know that the sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 times the sine of theta times the cosine of theta. So we just need to look at this triangle drawn to find what the sine and cosine of theta is. That will be 2 times the sine of this triangle over here is 5 over 13. And the cosine of the same triangle is 12 over 13. So we're going to multiply 5 times 12 times 2. Well, that's equal to 10 times 12 or 120. And 13 times 13 is 169. So we will say that the sine of 2 theta is equal to the ratio of 120 over 69. Let's try the same thing, but with cosine of 2 theta. I'm going to use the original formula. We got the cosine squared of theta minus the sine squared of theta. We already found that the cosine is equal to 12 over 13. We'll square that. And the sine is equal to 5 over 13. We found that in our example above, but I can also look back at this triangle of this angle. When I square those values, I get 144 over 169 minus 25 over 169, which equals 119 over 169. That's our final answer. All right, for the tangent of 2 theta, we can apply our formula again. That's 2 tangent of theta over 1 minus the tangent squared of theta. The tangent of this image over here is 5 over 12, so 2 times 5 over 12 divided by 1 minus 5 over 12 squared. 2 times 5 twelfths is 5 over 6. And we're going to divide that by 1 minus 25 over 144. So we have 5, 6 divided by um, 1 minus 25 over 44. That'll be 144 over 144 minus 25 over 144. That'll be 119 over 144 which equals 5 over 6 times 144 over 119. Now, 6 does divide 144, which is 24. So 24 times 5 is 120 over 119. And that will be our answer here. But before we finish, I want to talk about a much easier way to do all of this. So I'm going to erase everything for a second, and let's just think about the fact that we already figured out what the sine of 2 theta is and what the cosine of 2 theta is. So instead of doing all of this work, if I already have the sine and cosine, well, I know that tangent through the quotient identity is equal to the sine of 2 theta over the cosine of 2 theta. I already have those values, so we're saying it's 120 over 169 divided by the cosine of 2 theta, which is 119 over 169, which will be equal to 120 over 169 times the reciprocal of 169 over 119. These will eliminate each other, divided by each other, they equal 1, and we end up with the same answer, 120 over 119. So if we already have the sine of 2 theta and the cosine of 2 theta, we could just find the tangent of 2 theta by dividing them instead.